Well, when you look at the Padres, the bottom line is this team added five players via trades. They moved four arms. They said goodbye to Ryan Weathers. They've made changes. Let's talk about, talk about the names they got. It's a half-year rental. Rich Hill, 19-year career, has been everywhere. I think the Padres are the 13th team that he's worn a jersey for. The guy can still pitch. Now, granted, he's a control artist. He's a junk baller. He's not a power guy, but he's a trusted veteran. Uh, his career record is pretty impressive for a guy, quote, hanging on 89 and 69 in his career. 7-10 and 10 this season, 4.76 CRA for a Pirates team that gave him no support at all. He comes in maybe as a reliable fourth or fifth starter. Maybe he gives you four or five innings, but decent acquisition. They trade for Scott Barlow. This guy was red hot as a closer in Kansas City, had some physical problems, is not having a good statistical year this year, but you put him with a new pitching coach. Maybe they find a flaw. Maybe they get him back to where he was. At a 5.35 ERA in Kansas City this year, but prior to that, ERA is in the sub 3.00, so he can bring it, and he becomes a fifth guy out of the pen as the Padres now try to slot all these guys in the bullpen, and so far they've been successful in the last week and a half. Himan Choi has been everywhere. Guy can hit with power, as witnessed by the fact he's got 15 home runs this season. Guy plays a pretty decent first base defensively. Guy's only hitting 205. It's a glitch. He'll probably be a platoon guy at first base, but he's reliable. He's trustworthy, and he's been somewhat productive. Garrett Cooper, mystery guy, home run hitter, first baseman, designated hitter, Miami Marlins. Cooper, 271 career batting average, not bad, 52 home runs, a lot of nagging injuries. Got to be able to keep him on the field, but I would think Garrett Cooper and Himan Choi become the platoon guys at first base. Now, I don't know where they bump Jake Cronenworth if they're knocking him off first base, but Cronenworth's not hitting a lick. But Cronenworth has played a really great defensive first base. I think there's got to be positions for Cronenworth to play different places. And then a young guy they got is an interesting guy. His name is Sean Reynolds. He was in the Kansas City farm system. He's six foot eight. He's a converted outfielder. Hmm. Now, my I guess there's two ways that I look at Sean Reynolds. Uh, 2.36 ERA in AAA. He's pitching for Kansas City. Kansas City's got no pitching. Why is he not up at the major league level, or is he not ready to be at the major league level? He's got a 3.50 ERA over the last year and a half, AA into AAA as they converted him from the outfield uh, to the mound. Maybe that's a guy we're going to see before the end of the season. Maybe that's a guy for 2024. So at the end of the day, they yeah, they gave up a bunch of pitchers and they gave up on Ryan Weathers, or maybe Ryan Weathers gave up on them, but they kind of just hit the end of the road. But again, to get guys like Garrett Cooper, who's got some proven ability out of Miami, you got to give a guy, and they gave up Ryan Weathers. They kept the crown jewels, the bottom of the farm system at class A, at class double A, really good group of players. They didn't trade any of those guys. So I'm pleased. I think they filled in some holes. These guys have got to produce, whether it's a role-playing fourth starter like Rich Hill, whether it's a setup man, whether it's the platoon at first base. Ask if they give them a letter grade. I give them a letter grade of B for what they did to the trade deadline. But the team has got a letter grade of C because they still got to prove what they can do over the final 50-plus games of the season. John, that's my opinion. I'm sure you got some opinions too. I like what AJ Preller did here. I mean, he wasn't panicking. He, you know, filled in some holes. He didn't trade away the, like you say, the crown jewels. It is interesting. You're saying maybe uh, Choi and and Garrett Cooper at first base. I wonder if they're going to now not have a permanent DH. Maybe that DH is going to be on a rotating basis because they've been doing that a lot lately. And they've been doing it with the catchers somewhat successfully. Yeah. I mean, both those guys are mashing. Sanchez had two home runs last night. So the, these deals are good. And then, you know, the kid Reynolds, I, I saw a video clip of him in AAA just blowing people away. So, you know, that might be a bit of a lotto ticket for Preller. Down road. Down road. You know, not this year, but, you know, the new guy um, that comes over from Kansas City guy kind of looks like Josh Hader or Mike Clevenger. You know, we got another long flowing hair guy out there, but he looked good yesterday too. So, you know, Tim Hill's been a little shaky 
Luis Garcia is a disaster. So you got some new pitchers to slot in. I, I think this is a good a good setup for the Padres. Well, they bought insurance policy guys, and they bought some guys with some proven ability. So we'll see where this goes. They didn't stand pat. All right, let's go 